Thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be talking about Chitubox Pro and why it's a great asset for your 3D printing and 3D design pipeline. So here I have one of the jewelry design molds that I created. Some of the models I made myself and some others I downloaded. But this was essentially just test since I'm making some silicone molds. So as you can see here, it looks very similar to the basic, except there's a couple more settings. Uh, it does have a backlog of recently opened and different projects. You can merge different projects together and you can add your specific machine. So once you click the button, you have a ton of options that are third party and um, Chichibox is great because it supports a lot of resin printers on the market. So you'll select your particular printer so that the parameters are in check. And then also you have some options for the thickness. And this is essentially your layer height, your layer thickness. Defaults, typically 50 microns. It depends on what you're printing. If you want more detail, you can go down to 30 or you can go up to 100. I wouldn't recommend going up over 100. You won't get the best quality here. Once we've selected our printer, we can click our profile, which allows us to manipulate the settings. This is dependent on what resin you're using. You can choose the layer height, you can choose the exposure time, bottom exposure time. If you are struggling to find this information and you are new, you can check on your manufacturer's website. It should be listed under their resin settings. If you are using uh, Elegoo or Frozen, there should be already set presets which make it super easy for you you just select what resin you're using if it's standard abs whatever it should be listed if not you can always cross check it online all right now that we have all the basics set up out of the way now we can import our models and from this point it's been fairly similar from the basic version. However, this is where it starts to get beneficial. So here it recognizes that your imported model is a damaged model and has a function to automatically repair the model. So here you have two options. You can either do your basic repair or your advanced repair. You can also close any holes. You can do an orientation repair. You can add some triangles, delete triangles, flip normals. And once it's all done, you can either keep just the finished product or the original as well. I chose to keep both the damaged model and the repaired model so you can see the difference here. It's fairly substantial. All right, so th this is an object that I'm going to slice today. And the reason why I chose this particular object is because I've had some people reach out to me and say that they've had some difficulties printing very straight linear objects. And for me, the best way to do this is to have your model on a 45 degree angle even 35 will do the trick however you just want to make sure that it progressively builds up versus having a very large surface area on the fep sheet constantly causing suction force and increasing the chances of a failure so here's pretty good i typically hollow all my models and i do this because i find that if it's a very large print or it's a very um, I guess structural print, I find that the success rate definitely increases when the model is hollowed. And there's a lot of benefits to it, the main one being you save a ton of resin. And um, it's pretty easy to do. There is a hollow function and then after you have to make sure you're adding your dig holes. This allows the resin to pour out and make sure that you don't have any resin trapped in there. Another setting is the add tag and I thought this was really cool because you can add any custom letters and numbers to identify your print and I did a couple of tests and it was super easy to actually use and for something like this I would have to typically create either a font in Adobe Illustrator and import it as a DXF but here I can just straight up make a uh, tag and it could either be inverted or be extruded, which is really, really helpful. 
The next setting that the pro version has is Boolean operation. And I found this to be very intriguing because I don't know another slicing software that has this option. Um, maybe I've missed it, but I think this is very beneficial and very interesting. I particularly love this function because when I import a STL file into Fusion and do the Boolean operation, it always crashes. And this seems to do it flawlessly within seconds to minutes. So here I have a rectangle and my lion model. And here you can choose the item that you wanna keep and the item that you want to cut with. And as you can see, we're gonna keep the box and cut with the lion. Within a few short seconds, we are able to get a negative cavity with the item that we cut with. And this can be very beneficial for our various applications, but for me, I definitely want to try it for mold making and more. The next setting we have, and after we make sure everything's good and we do all the edits, we have our support structures. And this is the second most important aspect of slicing your resin prints after your orientation and depending on how heavy your model is and what the orientation is you want to adjust your contact diameter accordingly as well as your angle and your density of your support structures so here we have a lot of supports we can definitely tone it down a little however having this so much supports will ensure success for sure if you're in a time crunch and you and you need a print to be successful, then you have the option of guaranteeing success. At this point, it's a little bit difficult to remove because we have a high contact diameter at 0.6. If you are doing a figurine or a miniature, you will definitely want to reduce your contact diameter to 0.3 or 0.4 so that you can easily buff it out. After you realize everything is good and everything is ready to be printed, you can slice your model. I just wanted to let everyone know that Chidubox Pro is currently having a promotion which includes 40% off the software and free resin with free shipping. You can use my promo code Nicole which will allow you to unlock the 40% off and get one free bottle of resin it's valid now till august 3rd but there's constantly new promotions going on so feel free to use that code just to be transparent this is an affiliate link so it does help out me and my channel but i do definitely vouch for the slicing software there are a ton of features that are not on the basic and I will definitely show you in coming videos how I integrate it into my project so it gives you a better idea. I will also show you the results and different ways on how to save resin and have successful prints. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two in this video and I'll see you next week with a new video.